Oh, hi, how are you? It's a Wednesday and I'm Dylan Black. Welcome to Daytime Ottawa on Rogers TV. It is a gorgeous day in the nation's capital, feeling like 30-ish with that sunshine. Summer's here, finally into the fall season. Makes sense. Uh, let's kick off the show. Busy as always. We have a Justin Ralph joining us right now. Singer songwriter. He's got a new EP. We'll talk about that. Justin, hello. Hi. You're going to be performing for us as well, right? I am definitely. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Justin, how many years have you been a musician at this point? I've been a musician for about 13 years. Yeah. So. What, what is it that you love so much? Uh, well, I love storytelling. Yeah. So I, for me, music's always been about telling a story and uh, I like getting in front of people and and uh, making some music and making them feel something. So Good, and, and you know what? Uh, you are a unique musician. Not every <laughs> musician plays the banjo, for starters. That's but true. Did you not begin your career as an opera singer? I did, that's right. Yeah, so I, uh, around 17, started taking vocal lessons. I was really into musical theater. Uh, and then I had a vocal teacher who at the time was really said, you have to do opera, you have to do opera, you have yeah. to do opera. So I kind of, you know, was forced into it in a way, although I enjoyed it. And I did that for about 10, 12 years in Toronto and oh. uh, yeah, kind of decided to chase my passion and, and can, switch gears. Can you give us a bit of Pavarotti right now? Oh, sure, yeah. Vincero, Vincero. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Moving along, uh, that that's incredible though. Congratulations! Thank you. On I that. haven't done that for a long time. But this is the first <laughs> time that you, you put your music to to uh, recording. Yeah, that's right. And doing uh, folk country as opposed to opera, yeah. which has always been a passion of mine. Yeah. So why this? So because that seems like a they, they don't really relate at all. Yeah, they they don't. No. <laughs> So why the switch? I always love the music. Mm -hmm. um, I got really into it a few years ago after going to a folk festival, and I woke up one day and said, like, you know, I want to do something I really love. I mean, opera is, is very cool, and I enjoyed it, mm -hmm. but uh, the folk really speaks to me a bit more. So, okay, and now you have this new album, um, and and it's coming out. Uh, we've got an EP release party happening Sunday, That's September twenty right. fourth. Yeah, it's called By the Old Railroad. Yes, that sounds pretty folky for sure. For sure, yeah. Okay, so what can we expect on this CD? Uh, it's a mix of old uh, traditional folk tunes and then three original ones that I wrote. All kind of uh, written around the area that I live in now, which is Oxford Station, uh, rural, rural Ottawa area. Okay. Uh, yeah, so expect kind of Hank Williams style, lots of songs about bandits and the railroad. Uh, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's really uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about the EP release party that's coming up. Yeah, so the EP release is going to be at a local brewery, uh, the Whippersnapper Brewery in Bell's Corners. It's a really cool little spot. I just cold called them. I was like, hey, guys, I like your beer. Can I do my CD release there? And they're like, nice. yes, absolutely. That's uh, nice. So it's going to be uh, open to the public September 24th at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, admission is by donation. So. And you have someone else joining you on the bill? I do, yeah. Uh, Tyler Keeley is luckily my brother-in-law. He's no, well-known around town. He mm -hmm. uh, does this dueling pianos. And uh, he's an excellent musician. He also also played like half the instruments on my EP. So oh, did he? Yeah. So that, that, that keeps the costs low. <laughs> it does. It, it, it really does. You just pay him in beer or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, or friendship. <laughs> or friendship. <laughs> I like that. Um, how exciting is it for you to get in front of a live audience after, you know, from, uh, it, are, first of all, different crowds? Because you had the opera crowds Very before different. now. Very different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, folk audiences are like opera audiences in that they're, they're quieter and they listen a bit more than like they're kind of raucous rock concert or something yeah uh, but it's very different you go from like a very like straight laced tuxedo wearing audience to uh you know jeans and plaid shirts and that kind of thing what time do you hit the stage on the 24th uh 2 p.m 2 p.m so it's an afternoon yeah an afternoon we wanted to get as many people out as possible uh like family can come out uh anyone yeah didn't okay. want to compete with all those friday night gigs so all right in the pines is the name of the, uh, the song it is okay and we're going to hear it right now justin ralph has a new cd it's called by the old railroad and on the 24th you can check him out in concert let's have a listen right here on rogers tv my girl, my girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night? Well, I slept. In the pines where the sun don't ever shine And I shivered the whole night through My girl, my girl, where will you go? Well, I'm going where the cold wind blows husband was a hard working man just about a mile from here his hand was found in a 
drive. 